Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadgetax and today I'm going to show you how to make a full system image backup on Windows 10. Now this is a bit different than a system restore point. It's actually a snapshot of your entire Windows installation as well as all settings configuration and data that you can use to restore your system from almost any critical failure. So if your hard drive physically breaks down, you'll still be able to get everything back exactly as it was before it went down. But before you get started, you will need a safe place to store this system image. Ideally, you should have a completely separate hard drive attached to your computer, or at least a blank set of DVDs and a disk drive that's capable of burning them. Technically, you could even repartition your primary hard drive to create a storage space for your system image, but the drawback there would be if your hard drive failed, you would lose both your Windows install and your system image. So once you have a storage location sorted out, the first thing to do is press the Windows button on your keyboard, then type File History and press Enter. From the window that pops up next, go ahead and click this System Image link in the bottom left corner. After that, look over here in this left pane again and click the Create a System Image button. At this point, the System Image tool should pop up. The first menu here is asking you where you would like to store your backup, and the options are Hard Drive, DVD, or Network. If you're going with a hard drive here, you can use this drop menu to select the storage location for your System Image backup. But when you're done here, go ahead and click Next. From here, it'll ask you which drives you would like to create a system image of. Your primary Windows drive in the boot sector will already be selected, but if you have any documents or files saved on a different hard drive, you could select that here as well. After clicking Next on that screen, you'll get a chance to review your selections. If everything looks like it should, go ahead and click Start Backup. From here, depending on how many files and drives you selected, the backup process will take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour or so. When it's done though, you'll be asked if you'd like to create a system repair disk, but that's purely optional. And now that you have a full system image backup on standby, you can rest easier knowing that you'll be able to recover from almost any critical failure. And the process of restoring a system image is pretty easy too. I've got that part covered for you at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, so be sure to check that out. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.